we didn't think of that all. Should we go ahead with the surgery or should we not go ahead with the treatment? No, that was never an issue. You say, Here, here's your one chance for cure over against none. What are you gonna do? In 1970, when Judy was given her radiation therapy, the expectation was that without radiation therapy, Judy would die. And with radiation therapy, Judy would live. How much did they really know about the side effects then? It was incomplete knowledge. The radiation that I had as a child not just cured me, but that radiation could have long-term effects. And it can cause lymphomas and skin cancers 10, 20, and 30 years later. She would tell me that often her pain was a 10 on a scale of 10. For anyone else, it would send them straight to the ER, but she lived with it. Everyone knows someone with cancer, but not everyone knows someone with cancer that's in the same stage of life as them, especially in your mid-20s. You know, if the survivor can learn about what it is they need to be on the watch for, they can educate their own physician. People want to see the reality. If people can see the reality, they can put their imagination to bed. And I think that's really key. The way he's dealt with this is amazing to me because I feel like most people would get really down about it. And I mean, he's had his rough days. I mean, every who wouldn't? But there's been days when he's helped me. It's hard to see somebody you love so much, you know, suffering and going through this. Where so many people with all these little bumps may have given up, she has been able to say, I will get past. I'll be stronger. She is by far the strongest person I know.